the wires and continuation of trolley buses is a great asset of Moscow compared to all other cities. The problems uh, listed about London, and I've talked to, with my colleague who has done detailed study of that, really show that uh, uh, this uh, network of, of wires in, uh, in Moscow is a great asset. So it's, it would be a mistake to take those wires down. It would be a mistake to change any trolleybus line by a diesel line because that's against the trend and, and legal requirement. Now, one option that should be looked into, as I briefly mentioned also, is to look at the buses with uh, charging uh, in motion. That means that it would be contact wires would be retained and the vehicle is going uh, uh, and getting charged so there is no need for recharging at the end of line or overnight. That, uh, that saves a uh, number of vehicles and hopefully also the price of vehicles. Uh, the difficulties of getting such vehicles, I think, should not be taken as a reason to destroy the whole system and change it. It should be really looked better and other manufacturers should be stimulated to provide this construction of vehicles. Then you get flexibility that you can uh, use the existing lines or extend the lines without any wires uh, so that you have uh, you have fully electric traction uh, and then after that what remains to be changed from diesels to electric bus then you continue with that and that process has started and it would continue but focus on buses remaining without any any uh, present trolleybuses as they are now new modern trolleybuses with or modern electric buses with charge in motion have a lot of potential in my opinion. To summarize now, um, the basic decision should be not to remove the network as I've heard from some officials that is being considered to retain the wires and re repair where it's necessary and keep them operating and focus on, re re on uh, changing diesel buses into electro buses. Uh, the second step should be to find a manufacturer and purchase uh, buses with charge in motion. And those would utilize the existing networks. And for any extensions, there would be no need for more investment because the, these vehicles can go charged for several kilometers in extensions or under center city and so on. Third one, uh, for remaining lines which don't have wires and for future expansions and so on, uh, focus on electric buses and build them and introduce them and uh, uh, monitor their performance. Some people say that trolleybus vehicles are very old in Moscow, uh, the vehicles themselves. Trolleybus vehicles are much more durable than diesel buses because they are simpler, cleaner. Uh, you can go to a, bus, a trolleybus garage and diesel garage and you will see great difference that electric and that's the benefit of going more electric in all modes of, of urban transportation. Trolleybuses last 50 to 100 percent longer than diesel buses. Mm -hmm. Hopefully Electro buses will be closer to uh, uh, trolley buses in performance than to diesel buses. Uh, it is not true that uh, trolley buses are more complicated and so on. They are simpler and more durable, absolutely. And uh, uh, of course, some maintenance of facilities have to be done, but. Uh, uh, that is uh, that uh, Im 
amount of investment is not uh, such, such that you would change a mode of transportation. And you, in principle, really, if you need some type of buses like this one in, in for with charger motion, then really I suggest that stronger efforts should be made that such vehicles be ordered from some factories and with greater attention to that and uh, as, as Moscow is getting vehicles from many sides and many successful vehicles in metro and light rail and so on that should be possible to make for trolleybuses also.